Good evening and welcome. I'm Vincent Macquarie. This is Africa 54. Tonight, a ceasefire proposal is being offered to stop the conflict in Yemen. U.S. and Saudi officials have agreed to pursue a humanitarian pause in Yemen, where fighting by Shia Houthi rebels has forced thousands of people to flee the country. After arriving in Saudi Arabia Thursday and meeting with the nation's leadership, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry and Saudi Foreign Minister Abdel al Jubeir announced at a press conference in Riyadh that efforts are underway to force a five-day ceasefire, uh, rather to forge a five-day ceasefire to, uh, to send in humanitarian aid. Uh, Secretary Kerry revealed some of the proposal's uh, key points. Today, we particularly welcome a new Saudi initiative to try to bring about a peaceful resolution through the announcement of their intent to establish a full five-day renewable ceasefire and humanitarian pause. No bombing, no shooting, no movement or repositioning of troops to achieve military advantage, understanding an understanding uh, that needs to be reached that neither party is going to exploit the humanitarian pause. So we strongly urge the Houthis and those who back them, whom we suggest use all of their influence, not to miss this major opportunity to address the needs of the Yemeni people and find a peaceful way forward in Yemen. A ceasefire has been a long-standing goal of the international community, and we deeply respect the leadership in Saudi Arabia for stepping up, taking on this initiative, and saying to the world they're prepared to meet the humanitarian needs of the people of Yemen. Well, the United States has announced $68 million in new aid to help get food, water, shelter, and other assistance to Yemen in need. Uh, now for the latest on the security situation in Yemen, Zaid al Alaya, a Sana'a-based journalist, uh, joins us via phone from Yemen. Now, Zaid, uh, following uh, the discussions today in Saudi Arabia and the proposed ceasefire, first, what do you think that will achieve in the short term? The situation, in, not just in Sana'a, but in almost 18 governorates or 18 provinces out of the 22 provinces, I have lost most of the means of life because of the continued electricity blackouts. Large number of hospitals are doomed to close because of the lack of medications. The, uh, the, the acute shortage in fuel have stopped many bakeries from offering bread to people, have stopped the number of hospitals from offering uh, services to, to patients. Uh, schools, universities have been closed due to the, the, the embargo that was put on Yemen in land and sea. This ceasefire is completely achieved from both sides because until now we didn't hear from the Houthis that they will stop or they, they, will, they will agree to the, to the ceasefire mm -hmm. because there are still clashes and land uh, clashes in the Saudi borders now, in, in like areas close to Najran. Now, this, this, this ceasefire could help uh, provide many humanitarian and food and uh, medical assistance to the country in the areas that are mostly affected by the war, Sana'a, Aden, Sa'ada, and... Now, Zaid, as we speak now, uh, we know that uh, the Houthi rebels have actually already taken over uh, the Aden's Al-Tawahi district. Very significant move, this. Tell us why. This is, this is an important area. It's a very... It's one of the most important areas in Aden because it contains uh, radio, TV, intelligence office, Coast Guard and all other buildings. Uh, this this area of Atawahi, part of the port of Aden, there are a large number of ships. And if there is any sort of uh, intervention or land troops that could be sent to Aden, uh, they, they can only land or enter Aden from that area. Because in, in the last conference that was given today in Saudi Arabia by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Riyadh Yassin, and Minister of Human Rights, Azadina Asbahi, they actually have asked the international community and the KSA-led uh, coalition to intervene and save Aden from the breaches uh, practiced by what they call Ansar Allah or Houthis in Aden. Uh, Tawahi now is under the control grip and, uh, of al Houthis, and it's, it's the, it's, you could say it's the, the heart of Aden. 
Well, thank you very much, Zaid. Now, Zaid Alalaya is a Sana-based uh, journalist.